Here's a tour of some of my vintage HP instruments. Got a couple of them hooked up working right now. Show you what I got. Got a uh, VHF oscillator and a pulse generator transmitting a tone signal on the FM band to a little radio. This is a 3200B VHF oscillator. Goes from 10 megahertz to 500, so half a gigahertz. Right now I got it tuned right about 100. And <clears throat> there it is, about as fast as my scope goes, reading right about 100 megahertz. And then here we have a pulse generator. And this pulse generator output is going to the modulator input for the pulse on the VHF generator. So this thing is running at audio frequencies. Here we got a 5221A electronic counter, and this is counting how many pulses in one second. So 400 hertz. Here we got a 3406A broadband sampling voltmeter. And <clears throat> this thing gives an output. This thing is kind of interesting. It's got two oscillators in it that sweep the sampling frequency back and forth to, and gives kind of an interesting output, I'll, sh I'll show. And so, <clears throat> this is the VHF signal right here. And if I go out, out, you can see now we got the pulses. And what that's doing is when I change the pulse rate, changes it and so here we have an FM radio tuned to 100 megahertz that's the pulse it's putting out and when I change the frequency so the output of the RF generator is just going through this antenna and really I didn't even need the antenna just having the cable on there was enough but I could transmit all the way across the yard if I walk across the yard with the radio. And you can see the effect of changing the and here's the pulse width. Pulse width and then frequency. So these are all audio frequencies 400 hertz and 2500 hertz. And it's just transmitted right over the FM band. So basically, FM transmitter here. So some more of my collection. So, oh, this, uh, the output from this voltmeter is this statistical sort of thing that if you stop it you can see we go lower frequency longer pulse you can see if I stop how it's sampling and it's incoherent sampling it's sort of sort of random and that's so that you can get sort of a RMS value on signals that are sort of all over the place I guess so more of a collection got a whole bunch of these smallish ones Smallish instruments. These are all Variac. Almost every one of these instruments is mid 60s. R27A DC power supply. So another pulse generator similar to the other one over there, but does some different things, different frequency range. <clears throat> There's a push button oscillator. And it's you know sort of digital controls in the old days. 
there's a function generator sort of takes the place of many of these with different functions triangle wave square wave ramp pulse as well as a sine wave very small little envelope here's the hp 680 which was the mosley 680 the very first uh you know printer the printer business they started with when they bought mosley and they made these for a long time Here's a 4260A universal bridge. This is a capacitance, inductance, resistance meter. And <clears throat> this was made by YHP Japan, Yogodawa. It's got kind of some complicated mechanisms in it to make it all switch back and forth. And here is a 427A voltmeter. And this one is running on 18650 cells, battery powered. Here's the 3500D attenuator. Just a big variable resistor, basically. Here's this patch panel that has oscillator and voltmeter inputs, outputs, <coughs> for transmission line testing. And then here is a Harrison Labs, also HP. It doesn't say HP anywhere on it, but it's HP. Uh, another little power supply, DC. This one is a amplifier and a power supply. And it could be very handy. There's another little oscillator. And this one also is running on 18650 cells, battery powered, little portable thing. And then here is another RMS voltmeter. The other one also does, you know, is a volt ohm meter, this one. So, and then over here is all the big ones. Starting at the bottom is my jewel of my collection, HP 200A, made in the middle of World War II, and the uh, audio oscillator first product made by HP and then this is a spectrum analyzer two parts the display and the analyzer and it is big and heavy and was very expensive and then above that this one is a sweep oscillator our, uh, microwave from two to four and a half giga, gigahertz and both the sweep oscillator and the spectrum analyzer have big Watkins Johnson Backward wave oscillators, two gigahertz is the fundamental oscillator. And this unit actually used to be owned by WJ, I guess for testing the HP product, but all this stuff's working. And then the thing that goes along with this is this frequency meter. And they call this the bubblegum machine. And it has like a resonant cavity in it and this sliding scale. And it basically just sucks up the signal when you hit resonance. And then here you got a 130C scope, single channel, pretty classic unit. Here we've got a 215A pulse generator. And this one I just got for 10 bucks on eBay. Works perfect. Here's a 3300 function generator, which had two outputs with different, different uh, different waveforms. It also has this trigger phase lock so you can do sort of, you know, pulse modulates and some other stuff. And here is this electronic counter that uses Nixie tube, similar to the other counter. And this was the model that was certified for world land speed records in the mid 60s. And then this one here is a uh, variable phase, two HP 203A, 203A variable phase and it has two outputs and variable phasing you know right there um, also does both square wave or, or uh, square, yeah, square wave and sine wave and then this is this 8006a word generator which is a pulse generator that you can set you know 16 or 32 bit word train of pulses with this positions of all these switches and send a pulse train of one word at a time. And then 
this is your 652 test oscillator. A bunch of these around here. And then just a couple of vacuum tube voltmeter and clip on DC milliamp meter with a little clip on probe. Put that other one. These are very sensitive, very accurate instruments, you know, even for today if they still work great. A little XY plotter. Kind of fun, make the little frequency plots. Spirograph. Here is a 200 CD audio oscillator. Another workhorse. Get them for like five bucks on eBay. And that's about it. And then there's these other ones here that are going elsewhere. Another Bob Wigan pulse generator, a CD 200 rack mount, looks like brand new. And then these are some other 651s, 652s, and a counter. So those are ones that I repaired. Anyways, hope you like it.